admit that chemicals cause problems. You have a beautiful environment here. You have a place that's worth saving. This is a mine that could seriously hurt the water supply, contaminate the lake, and become a moonscape. The river is flowing, flowing, flowing. The river is flowing down to the sea. Mother, carry me where I long to be. Mother, carry me down to the sea. All the children in Michigan and around the Great Lakes are going to be severely impacted by this mine. Enjoying the wilderness and welcoming those who come from other places to enjoy it too, who, who will shed rivers of flowing tears because of this. The bear people, the deer people, all the four-legged, all the winged, all of the spirits and people of this land who have already been forced to move off. A new hope and a new faith it will carry them to a place that they have not yet been. We talked about sharpening the arrow today, sharpening the tactics and strategy that we have to bring our conscience out and to bring voice to what we think are really important concerns. So, um, Lois, again, we give thanks for you. And uh, as this uh, struggle unfolds, part of what Lois does is travel around the country she just came out of Georgia. Uh, she's travels all over the place, working with communities to organize and to say, hey, you know, we can own our destiny here. So uh, thank you again, and let's, let's close with a song. You can come 33 feet north of the AAA road, and then past that, that you're trespassing. We don't have a team. The right of way, the right of way is it home? Yeah. Doesn't the right of way extend beyond where the dirt is? No, if you would just take about 11 paces, that's about 33 feet. Let's make a circle, you guys. This is the continuity of people that live in the world, Ray. Come on, Ray, do it. Come on, Ray, join us. Ray. And invite us out here, Ray. We're praying for you, too. Come on. We want Ray. We want Ray. Ray. Rituals are a time when uh, we constantly energy with each other. And uh, singing is always a good thing. Thing to do, and I'm going to lead you in a song that a gal from New Jersey taught me on Lake Superior about four years ago. And so, um, and we'll give thanks for Lois and other folks. So, here's the song. Here it goes. The river is flowing, flowing, flowing. The river is flowing down to the sea. I honor you for the work you've done. It's inspiring to us. It's inspiring to other groups that are out there. Um, let's fight the good fight. Thank you, Peter. Thanks. I'm a board member for Citizens for Health, Environment, and Justice, and we've been involved in 11,000 communities across the country, and we've heard the same uh, what we've been told here many, many times over. For instance, it's a done deal. We've also found that it's not a done deal. And that has been our experience. Our assessment, looking at what these, this coalition has accomplished in the last eight years, is that they have built an incredible power base. They have accomplished a lot that can help them pressure decision makers uh, to relook at some of their thinking, stop this mine. For instance, the health, the uh, the petition signed by over 200 health professionals, uh, 10,000 citizens signing uh, petitions against the mine. Um, there's been a lot of research done, and this research is ongoing about the mine and, and uh, about the problems that this particular mine can can cause. In fact, we even have miners who have talked to us, who are saying that they don't really want to, they wouldn't even want to work in that kind of mine because there are safety concerns about it. Remember, it's not over till it's over. It's not a done deal. You got a shot at making this happen. You've got all of those stocks. You've got all of those people. I think you have a real good um, energy there and uh, hopefully a good strategy that you can move forward with. If we played nice, if we played in the system, if we 
when you are about to step out of your comfort zone, remember, it's a good thing because play people get poisoned. Nobody wants to admit that chemicals cause problems. And nobody's going to admit if there's a problem in this community that it was caused by some corporation doing something wrong. So to fight these battles, to win these battles, whatever they are, needs to be done outside the system. Your environment is your biggest asset. It's your biggest asset. I know many of you are in love with it just because you're in love with the land yourself. But it is your biggest asset. And to have a mind come in, this is not the mind that mama and dad used to work in, grandpappy worked at. This is a much more dangerous mind. This is a much more dangerous mine, and this is a mine that could seriously hurt the water supply, contaminate the lake, and become a moonscape. You have a beautiful environment here. You have a place that's worth saving. You have a place that, um, and I, I want to finish with this, you have a place that has huge potential for green development.